Hello RGL, it's me, Anthole, back again for the very first time. Doing some Indiana Jones greatest adventures, the greatest adventures anyone has ever had in their entire life. Hide a live music, you funny Chief Ola. Oh my, Jangle is in chat, Jangle's the world record holder of this game. Uh, He's a complete master of that. We're going to be playing on all movies easy. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go. Thinking about it, I should have uh, done a donation incentive to get the cutscenes in. But if someone donates, uh... Ah! $20 by the time Jungle's over here. We'll watch the cutscenes. Remember, all your donations do go to supporting feeding hungry children and helping impoverished families around the world. Through the Random Acts charity. So this is Indiana Jones' greatest adventures. Based on the only three Indiana Jones movies that have ever been made and ever will be made. What's a crystal skull? Nobody actually knows. Who's the boogeyman? You figure it out. Playing a little sloppy here. I do love me some indie games, Cooler. Let's go. Stage two, we got this boulder coming at us. Been a minute since I played this game. Ever since Jingle. Took the reins, being the Shia LaBeouf to my Harrison Ford. Should have seen the face I made of that. <laughs> but it, usually if we both submit it, I like to let him have it. He's a master. But nothing terribly exciting about this stage. It's just a bunch of the same movements every time. No RNG. You can't get hit by the rocks falling in the foreground. And you just gotta kind of memorize. Oh, Ralph with the clutch $20 donation. Did I hear cutscenes? You sure did. We will watch the cutscenes going forward. Thank you so much, Ralph. Let's go. Okay, we're in Nepal now. Why did I get that health? That health is not needed. I was just like, look at the pretty heart. Oh no! <laughs> Let's go. So there's a, a way you can fall there that makes it pretty free to swing across that, but me being uh, rusty, I missed it took it too late so instead we're gonna get the useless gun oh thank goodness we got him whip right right after that but for some reason I switched back to the gun okay so there are some rolls you can do in this game to save time the Taz I believe does all rolling Alright, 
Here's our first set of cutscenes, everyone. Indiana Jones. I lied. It's after this. We have to go beat up a, a Nazi at the top floor before we get a cutscene. If you're not familiar with the Indiana Jones movies, you should definitely give them a watch after uh, this marathon. Don't leave to watch them, but watch it after, or side by side. I can't tell you. Oh, why? Why did this happen? Dr. Jones! So I pushed that crate a little too far forward. And it caused me to not be able to grab, push it back up. Um, I goofed. But that's alright. I wanted to make this climb again. With my blood. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't seen the Indiana Jones movies, they're based off the old movie serials. They're a lot of fun. Some of the best movies from the 80s, in my opinion. Alright, that's how that's supposed to work. The bar is indeed this big. Here's that, uh... bad guy I was talking about earlier. He just kinda jumps around like a, a jerk. You can throw a grenade to... And that fight a little faster, but for the most part, just kind of jump around, whip him in the face. Oh, I skipped the cutscene. I'm a jackass. Oh no! Chat, you paid for it, so I'm gonna make a decision here. We're gonna restart, and we're gonna use code. No, we're just gonna restart. We're gonna watch all the cutscenes. So... I may sacrifice Renegade for this. But I'm not gonna... You get into that automatic... ...mashing. Alright, we're gonna watch all the cutscenes now. Alright, LucasArts production. Factor 5 development. Raiders of the Lost Ark. South America, 1936. There he is, everyone. Jangle Storm. In the leather jacket. The Havitos are near, senor. I want to hit the wrong thing and skip the cutscene. We're gonna hit A, okay. This is it. The golden idol must be inside this temple. That's our first set of cutscenes. So dramatic. A picture of uh, Harrison Ford there as Indiana Jones. Yeah, Ralph, I, I just couldn't. I'm so used to. Oh, the screen's transitioning. Mash, mash, mash. Get through it as quickly as possible. <laughs> oh, sorry for my dog. She's a loud, annoying pup. <laughs> She's the toughest dog that's ever lived. All seven pounds of her. Alright. So that's the first stage for the very first time. 
Next up is the boulder stage. But we get to see the cutscene now. That wasn't so bad. Finally found the golden idol. That's the whole thing. Then it does this. I promise you, some of the cutscenes get better. I really wanted to do Rocketeer. Because some of the Rocketeer cutscenes are just pure gems, but we, uh... We had some issues this morning that I needed to attend to, so unfortunately I had to scrub the room. But maybe we'll add it back. We'll see what happens. But yeah, as I said before, this stage very straightforward, just watching kind of the visual cues for things. Like here, there's no cube. No cue, but you know they're coming because you've done it a million times. It is a very cruel stage blind, uh, but doing it when you're knowledgeable of it. Dr. Jones, we have intercepted a secret communique from Cairo to Berlin. The Nazis are searching for the Lost Ark. Well, I don't know why I said that so weird. The Lost Ark. <laughs> Who talks like that? Family me when I've had one hour of sleep. They believe it is hidden in the lost city of Tanis, near Cairo. A French archaeologist is helping them. His name is Rene Belloc. Belloc! Oh snap, white hat, how you doing man? I know Belloc. Stole the golden idol I found in South America. Frickin' Belloc. Top men. You need to talk to Marion Ravenwood. Her father knew all of her father knew all about the Ark. It'd be tough chat. We think Miss Ravenwood works for the Nazis. Marion? Never. I will fly to Nepal and visit her. She can tell us more. <laughs> it's, a, it's a completely normal thing to do. Just fly halfway across the world to see your ex-girlfriend. Creep In a creepy way, too. Because she was like 15 and he was 30-something. But then just be like, hey there. Where's your father? Also, are you a Nazi? Like, maybe things were different in the 30s because they didn't have email. Couldn't send a text. Alright, that's halfway what I was trying to do before. Only halfway, though. Uh, what? Alright. This may look familiar coming up. Don't skip the cutscene, eh? It costs you like five minutes. If not more. We'll pick up that grenade though. Punch to get the whip. I don't understand why they didn't just give Indiana Jones the whip the entire time. Like, what's the point? You're always going to get the whip. So why wouldn't they just give him the whip to start with? It'd be like if they made you pick up Mega Man's M Buster at the beginning of every stage. Like, what? Why? Alright. Made it that time without dying. We're gonna be toked here. The uh Nazi 
apparently not working with Marion because he's burning down the bar. But we rescued her. Now we get to see the uh, lovely... cutscene between the two of them that I skipped. Well, Jones, at least you haven't forgotten how to show a lady a good time. She screams this in the snow, this exact line. <laughs> you will need this medallion to find the lost ark. <laughs> in Cairo, somebody will be able to read the inscriptions on the medallion. Find him. I guess that's the last we're hearing of Marion. In the movie, she's like. Until you get my money back for the bar, I'm your goddamn partner. Why did I do that? I know that there's no whip for the first half of this stage. Well, not the first half, but... Yeah, right there. So it's Cairo. A lot of people compare this to the kind of parkour sections of Aladdin. What? Oh my god. So there's that whip there. That's what we wanted to do. Hit it the first time, it saves you like a good solid 10 seconds. Miss it like a jackass all the time, like I did, and it costs you um, your firstborn. I am playing like top men. Grab that just for safety. We shouldn't need it, but that's what we wanted to do. Take a little damage boost from that guy. Take a damage boost backwards. That's called negating a time save. It's a lesser known strat. Okay. Bump me back, bounce me up. Fun stuff. Get up there, you jackass. Alright, there is a very tight whip spot you can get here. We did not get it. But we did get that little damage boost there to get up here. And now we're going to... Iconic movie scene. Shoot that guy. So we have dysentery. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, rooftop jumping is this Aladdin. So we can actually get on the back of the cart. That's a recent, and by recent I mean like, I don't know, a year, six months, decade. But it was found, it's a little bit faster, now the worst boss fight in this game. It just has some like invisible, uh, or some iframes sometimes and you just can't do anything about it. Oh, we got the jump. You can jump there and actually run faster than the horse and cart. Which is just a little bit strange. Uh, there's a whip section there, which we're going to take. Taking a little safe here. But normally you would hit the vase, go over to the right, swing over, but no, we're going to skip all that. We don't got time for that, we got children to feed. Did I skip a cutscene? Oh no. Oh no. Chat, the muscle memory is too real. We're going back. We're gonna use a code. I am the muscle memory, guys. 
Ralph, I'm so sorry. Flash warning as the flash happened, which is not a very effective warning. I apologize to you all. Alright. Thing is, if we go back, I'd have to look up the code. I'd have to lose seven lives in order to cancel and get back to the main menu. Let's go. So, we're just gonna keep going. Ralph, I apologize. I'm gonna donate $20. To make up for your donation of twenty dollars, for me for for screwing that up. So, all all that happened was we missed one cutscene and some more kids got fed. So that's not too bad, right? In the long run. But thank you for your understanding. Thank you for the donation, Ralph. I'm gonna be a lot more careful, mindful. I will not press anything between scenes. Remind me, chat. I do believe that guy just says these markings tell me it's in this city. Alright. Should we use a code? Alright. You're right. Let's, let's use a code. We're gonna use a code. You're right. We gotta do it right. We gotta do it right by Ralph. Mega Delta Sigma Phi. Mega Delta Sigma Phi. Delta Sigma and Phi. Which one was Phi? All right. Hey, here we are again. Hey, is this Aladdin? Trying to remember Evo. Even when I said we were resetting, I started mashing. This isn't all cutscenes, Ron. Jangle, add it to the board. All cutscenes. Don't actually. <laughs> Not that I think you would. Uh, uh my way. We both could do it. <laughs> Make sure you put in the uh, the rule set. Cannot mash between scenes. <laughs> Otherwise, you have to reset and use a code. Oh, we got the boost. Nice. All right, dysentery time. Boom, 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 boom. No mashing. Let's go. Legal. Get this cart Yeah. Mm, punch him for fun. 
No mashing. Keep me honest, chat. There we go, look at that. We got the jump. All right, hands off the controller. The Well of Souls is located near a German dig site outside of Cairo. This is a warning. Not to disturb the Lost Ark. <laughs> Alright, controller back in hand. Just, I'm just walking, like, like it's a Sunday in the park with George or something. I'm just strolling along, singing a song. All right. Ooh. Come on, cr grab the thing, man. Alright. Took a little boost there. Obviously to save time. Got that damn- uh, that flash warning again. That is intense, my goodness. Oh no, please don't die. Oh, we lucked out. Alright. I don't think there's a cutscene, but I'm hands off. Hands off controller. Nope, we're just at the dig set. Let's see if we can get this bird boost. <gasps> we didn't get it. We got the soldier boost. These birds are the biggest jerks in the game. off okay Indy we have found the well of souls this must be the place where the ark is hidden of course it is what the old man told us Iconic stage. Iconic music. Ah, oh, I missed that little shortcut there. That's alright. There's a shortcut up above. It's a little bit faster. We don't have to wait for this nonsense. But, uh, all that really is there is an extra life and a little time save. Obviously, we want to hit it, but if we do, it's not the end of the world, as we know it. So, these jumps kind of suck. It to actually jump right as your foot is just a little bit off of... Well, otherwise, that happens. Just a little bit off of the ground there. You do get a grenade, flash warning again. Too late, but it was there. Why does it have to be snakes? This could be a terrible time. Dr. Jones! 
What are you doing in such a nasty place? Ha 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 ha. Once again, what was briefly yours is now mine. I'm afraid we must be going now, Dr. Jones. Our prize is awaited in Berlin. Before the Fuhrer takes possession of the Ark, I will experience the powers of God. This is pretty deep for a... Super new time. We opened the treasure on a German base in the Mediterranean. Why are you explaining your plan to the guy you're about to just trap in a tomb? Like, on the off chance that he does get out. Why would you do this? Alright. So we don't need the whip on this stage. No, it's the next one. Kinda need the whip on this one. There is a skip that you can do. I'm only gonna try it a couple times. Just because I'm not, you know, at this point this is essentially a casual run through. <laughs> but we'll see if we can get it. Alright, so we can go right here and kind of jump off and twist at the same time. Oh, I almost got it. It's a really interesting mechanic on this stage where the lights dim. Alright, last, last attempt. Alright. Pretty tough if you haven't practiced it. Um, but basically it just cuts you straight through down to here. Another one you can do as well. It'll take you down this way. Which if you can see there's like a secret over there. And then he just kind of walks wherever he wants. See if we can get here? No. Alright, we'll continue on. But there is a hidden area under this stage with a bunch of hearts. One-ups, things like that. Pretty neat. Hands off the controller. Alright, we're flying. Remember that password, everyone. Cactus, Omega, Omega. And... Bye. Hope everyone wrote it down. So now we're in, in my opinion, the probably the worst stage of the game, with the Nazi birds. I thought birds were jerks before, wait until you find out that they're, they're Nazi birds. Alright, this section is absolute trash. Give me a lot of flashing here as I throw grenades to clear it out, just for safety. Because we've already taken a million years. But yeah, those birds will hit you. Indiana Jones, as fun of a game as it is, has some of the worst knockback of any game. And if they hit you when you're jumping over a pit, it's pretty much guaranteed you're going to die and have to do the stage over again. Got a grenade there, which you might think, oh, that's cool, you got a cool grenade. But no, it, you only, can only carry one grenade at a... a over to the stage if you have one. Uh, that was a really weird way to say what I meant to say, but uh, if you are if you have one grenade, you don't get an extra grenade. If you have zero grenades, you get an extra grenade. So the only time it's worthwhile to like get a grenade is if you have multiple grenades. That was Belloc, the guy who stole our treasure. We decided to whip the hell out of him. Now we're gonna watch the end scene here. What happened to the cutscene? I didn't hit the controller when we went 
The longest Indiana Jones run of my life. Because I keep messing it up. Well, that's alright. We made a promise. Thankfully, I remembered it this time. Alright. Here we are. Back to Nazi Birdland. All for the children. Even the British children. Take that, George Washington. Get up there, Indiana Jones. No, don't. You don't need another whip. It's kind of a silly thing that you carry one. Sorry about the flashes again. Let's not show you that knockback I was talking about. Oh! 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 Are you kidding me? Let's go. So an interesting thing about this game is that some enemies don't respawn when you, uh... Respawn. I don't know why I said it weird. When you uh, pick a death. So this bird section's pretty painless now. I do believe the soldier will respawn. He's on the next one. He's on the. He's making me a liar. Unfortunately, health pickups also don't respawn. So if you. Now then, now we'll get that second grenade, because we had a grenade. Not touching the damn controller, it's down, it's on my lap. Hands behind my head. Let's go. Where's the face melting scene? Where is it? Got robbed. Hands off the controller again. Did I reset for no reason? No! It's supposed to be after that. We've been robbed! Or am I thinking of Last Crusade? I might be thinking of Last Crusade. <clears throat> Top men. The United States government will keep the Ark for research. <laughs> don't don't remind me, Shayna. Might have to move burger time to another night. We got another 20 for cutscenes. Oh, beautiful. We got a couple donations here. Ninjiro Yuki. Hold on. Thank you for bringing me the remains of Nurahachi, the first emperor of the Manchu dynasty. Nurahachi. Nurhachi, the first emperor of the Manchu dynasty. Too bad you drank the poison, Dr. Jones. I have the antidote. Try to catch it. That seems so much better in the movie, because, like, Indy gives them the, the, the remains, and then they're like, Okay, now give us the diamonds. 
in exchange for the antidote. And he's like, what antidote? Well, the poison in your drink, Dr. Jones, and they all start laughing. Um, before we continue, thank you very much, Ninjiro Yuki, for the $10 towards Baseball Stars 2 bonus game. Uh, where it, 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 $250 and we can get Kong and I to play a couple matches. Well, I think we'll do best of three for that amount. We'll do best of three. Um, and then Chief Oluk, $20 towards Indiana Jones' Greatest Adventure cutscenes. Thank you for the cutscenes, and thank you for the donations. Remember, every $5 or more, you get an entry into our raffle for some awesome prizes donated by some generous people. Uh, let's continue. Someone write down that password. Triangle. Eyeball thing. Triangle. Headphones. Let's go. Um, Kavik? None. <laughs> Alright, so here we are in Club Obi-Wan. Oh. Let's go. Alright, so these reticles will shoot. You just kind of gotta get around them. That guy's a jerk. I'm going to die here. No question. Try to clutch it out. Oh, oh. Holy cow. I can't believe we didn't die there. Alright. Yep, the club's name was Club Obi-Wan. It's a little Easter egg in the movie. Alright, now we're back into another parkour -y stage. Obviously, that means this is Aladdin. Can't make that jump. I don't really know how much time it saves, if any, but it does let you feel a great sense of accomplishment of getting a very tight jump. Sometimes that's worth a thousand time saves. You get a little skip there, you just whip that from the corner. Did I skip a cutscene? No. Hands off. We're flying, triangle, eyeball thing, headphones, Omega. Alright, hitting start. We should have a cutscene here. Yeah! Suddenly, Indy's plane stalls. Laoshe's pilots let out the fuel and left using parachutes. Nice try, Laoshe. He escapes the crashing plane, riding a lifeboat, which was on board for water landings. <laughs> Jesus, can <laughs> Alright, so we get our first mode seven of the <laughs> mode seven of the game. Look at these amazing graphics. This stage used to give me such fits as a child. Couldn't really figure it out. <laughs> oh boy. But it's really simple, it's just dodge the trees. I think as a kid I was trying to go for a lot of these little orbs, which are essentially the coins of the Indiana Jones universe. I guess they're like oracalcum beads. I don't know if they actually are, but I like to pretend they are because I love Fate of Atlanta. Just kidding. 
That's supposed to happen. I know you were all scared. I was scared too. All right. The men from the palace came, stole the sacred Zankara stone, and kidnapped our children. Please go to Pankot Palace and save our village, Dr. Jones. Alright, here we are. So, Pankot Palace, first area here, uh, is very much a maze. Just gotta push these statues. Hope I remember how to do this. Been a hot minute. Yeah, it's, it's easy. So you're like, oh, I could go this way, get another extra life. No, if you do that, you go back to the beginning. Very blind friendly stage. Oh. What? What? Why would it disappear? How dare you? Nobody gave you permission for that. Alright, so you jump over this one, push it from behind, which totally makes sense to do. It's definitely a thing you would think about. I didn't get the whip. That's gonna make this part a lot of fun. Alright, wasn't too bad actually. You're like, oh, another extra life. Nope, do not be tempted. We have to <laughs> Yeah, we have to go back to get the respawning pot. I've never seen the pots despawn before, but So it's been a lot of firsts today. So I'll jump over that one again, just like the other one. And it's really only three rooms that you have to go through. Makes it incredibly simple. Now we're on the Temple of Doom. And if we get another 20 or $50, uh, yeah, if we get another $20, I'll save the children in uh, Temple of Doom 2. The $20 to save the children, there's just a bunch of children hidden in the stage. Uh, $0 to forget about all the children. So this stage is just... It's intense, and if it weren't for the, the minecart and the airplane stages we're going to see later. This would probably be the most difficult stage in the game. Uh, it's just, it's long. There's a lot of things that can go wrong. But we're just gonna skip most of it. Oh geez. Or we're gonna take an incredible amount of damage and uh, hate ourselves for it. We'll throw that there. Oh god, don't just run in the lava, Jones. Alright. So you can see the backgrounds are just incredible, too. Like that giant statue to Kali Ma, or whoever it is in the movie, I don't remember. Please don't die. One of my favorite parts of this game is the end of this stage, which I'll show in just a minute. We're taking it very safe here. This is the end. Look at all the health they give you at the end. Why? I feel like a dev just, like, put all the health there to save it. And then moved it. So... Soon we will have all five Sankara stones and Kalima will rule the world. I was right, it is Kalima. <laughs> you don't believe me, Dr. Jones, but you will be a true believer. What? What is that? That's such a weird way to say that. Alright. So here we are. Temple of Doom 2. This is the Great Escape part, which in the movie has one of my favorite uh, cinematic themes of all time. There's a child. There's a child. 
which is a beautiful score in the movie for this. There's a spear in my chest, but there's another child. There's another one. We're actually getting most of them on the way there. You know what, since this is the Feed the Kids, we'll just save everyone we see. Won't go out of our way. Don't do that, Jones. I do want to get that safety health. Oh yeah, that was worth it. That was totes worth it. I'm all around. Let's go. He's gonna prepare to meet Kali in hell. So remember earlier I mentioned that bosses don't, or some enemies don't respawn? That includes these rocks that fall down and create havoc for you. There's some kids down there, but too bad for them. We got time to save. We're already way behind because of all the resets. Alright. Look at this one. Make up for it. That's the end of Temple of Doom 2. A stage I wish I could find some skips for. Here's one of the worst Mode 7 stages in any video game. You have to shoot these little switches to get you on the right track. If you don't switch, you fall off. If you get hit by anything, you fall off. If you shoot this guy, sometimes you miss that and you fall off. Sometimes you'll be shooting an enemy and then it'll keep shooting the, uh, the switch that you already switched and then you fall off. Like that. I shot it once. Seemed like it shot twice. Maybe I did shoot it twice. Nobody actually knows. Just barely got that one. Got those two. Not a lot to say about this one. It looks neat, but it's not like the prettiest stage. The ceiling texture kind of sucks. You can't really tell much of anything from each other. You know, it's not even that neat. I take it back. The stage sucks. Oh no, what will we ever do? But what's he supposed to do? There's nowhere to go. It's just lava everywhere. Alright, here's the end of Raiders of the Law. Uh, no. Temple of Doom. That's the movie we're on now. Alright, that was Molen Raw. We sent him down to the gators below. Hands off the controller! Look at that smirk. That's an emote if I've ever seen one. Here's the Sacred Sankara Stone. brought life back to our village. Now do you see the magic of the stone? 
do 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 yes I understand it's powers now we have one more movie to go last crusade all right wrap it up Jones do I hit a I don't know what to do okay the end whoo all right <laughs> it was a majority of the children thank you very much the end yes let's move on all right Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Some more top men. I'm gonna look for Dr. Jones. San Francisco, 1938. Please come with us, Dr. Jones. Somebody wants to see you. Sit down. I've hired a man to search for the Holy Grail. Now he is missing. I also drive an AT-80 in Empire Strikes Back. General Veers, is that you? Yes, Dr. Jones. Find the man and you will find the Grail. Whoever, who, who, who could this man be? General Veers, Donovan Veers. Why don't you try my father? He's the real expert on the grail. We already have. Your father is the man who disappeared. Wow, we. He was seen for the last time in the catacombs underneath the Italian city of Venice. Your father searched for the grail together with the Austrian archaeologist, Dr. Elsa Schneider. Austrians. Sounds trustworthy. Probably she can tell you more about his disappearance. Meet her in Venice. There's a missed opportunity in this section of the game. In that they don't have a boat chase scene. The boat chase in uh, Last Crusade is super cool and would have made a great video game stage. Instead, we get to walk around in a sewer and uh, get hit by fire. You know, let that one go and then we can go back and get the whip. Let that one go. We're gonna get hit by that because I couldn't hear my TV. Rap. There's an audio cue that lets you know the fire's coming. But my TV's a little quiet so I can't really hear it. one usually is another didn't come might come now sometimes I've had it where I just get hit watch 
walking in an area where it's unduckable. But first, I have to find my father. I missed the first line. Well, I'll read it over here. This inscription says the Holy Grail lies in Alexandretta. But first, I have to find my father. I know where your father is being kept. We have to take a boat, right? Take a boat. We gotta take a boat, right, Elsa? The Nazis are holding him in Castle Brunewald, near Salzburg in Austria. Well, I know exactly where that is. Glad you gave me very specific information about a place that I've never been. I assume Dr. Jones has never been to this castle. Alright. So here we are in Castle Brunewald, which would be the greatest stage to find a skip in. It would be huge because it's just layer after layer. It is a lasagna of a stage and every day is a uh, day you don't want lasagna I guess. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm a wee bit tired chat. <laughs> Green background, that guy's so well camouflaged, I always have to point it out. This is just ridiculous. Woo! Almost ate shit there. We're gonna get, uh... We're gonna say hi to Dad. You're supposed to skip it because it stops you here, but we're going to say hi. Junior! Every day is a winding lasagna. Cypher, and thank you very much for the host. I wonder if Jango's here because I want to ask, is it faster to swing all the way? I don't feel like it's faster. It's definitely not as cool as doing the little flight across the stage like this. Sometimes you gotta have style points. Ah, uh, yes. Somewhere halfway, okay. Alright. Alright. Start. We're gonna see. Um, Indy and his father sneak on board the Zeppelin. If we get into trouble, we can use the escape plane underneath the Zeppelin, Dad. Greatest, one of the greatest lines in this movie is at this part where he punches the dude and says, No ticket! And just throws him out the window. I love it. Let's go. Romango, thank you very much for the subscription. Really appreciate that. Everyone give some retro wins to Romango. Cut 
through the floors here. As one does in a Zeppelin. I sent that way too early because it was meant for him. Atung! Oh, shit. I didn't skip, I put the controller down. It just immediately jumped to this stage. I swear it. All right, this stage is my least favorite stage in this game. It's really cool when you're not going for good times, but this stage has ruined many a run for me trying to go for fast plane kills. Uh, in marathons, I generally just play it extremely safe, stick to the top, avoid going near planes that are above me, and just keep circling around, uh, because even if you take a million years, it's still faster than taking a game over with one plane left. So I just try to play it extremely safe in marathons and had a world record run ruined by this stage so it will forever be on my shit list. Give me just one second chat. Andretta. Hands off. No cutscene. So here we have the guardians of the of the grail coming to fight you even though earlier in the movie we were supposed to be buds. and we had a falling out. This guy's one of the most dangerous enemies in the game. He can knock you back. And now, the tank boss fight, which should be a lot harder, considering it's like a 45-minute part of the movie. But here, and he just handles it in like 10 seconds. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Okay. I do like the tank animation. It's really... Fantastic. City of Alexandria. The temple here. There is a very tight jump you can get there to get the boost. Sorta of got it. I don't know if I could really count that. Taking a lot of damage here, which is not good because health does not respawn. got that one up. I don't know if you heard it, chat, but when you get a hundred of the Orichalcum beads, Indy goes, one up!
Oh, don't you dare. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, this guy can make things ugly. Okay. Woof. So this stage is laid out exact, pretty much exactly like the first stage. Very similar. Uh, and it's the last one. So now we'll watch this cutscene. I think this is the one I was thinking of earlier. I've been guarding the Grail for 700 years. Now you're gonna come take over and I can go on vacation. Time for you to take my place. First, you must choose, but choose wisely. The true grail will bring you life. The false will take it from you. Donovan grabs a cup and drinks, but it's not the grail and in fright. He turns into a skeleton. Oh my god. Donovan Veers was a skeleton this whole time. Let's go. And just like in the movie, we played out our last scene. That's it. That's Indiana Jones' greatest adventures. We have one more cutscene coming up. The gameplay is done. We did it. Had a lot of hiccups. But now we ride into the sunset. Junior! You ride first. Junior? Dad, please call me Indiana. Your name is Henry Jones Jr. Indiana was the name of the dog. The name of the dog. But it was a very nice dog, Dad. I like the name Indiana Jones. Why does he sound so whiny? Indiana Jones would never say something like that. But it was a very nice dog, Dad. And that's the game. At the end of the credit crawl, oh, uh, right here, at the beginning of the credit crawl, as I was saying, it says, oh, you did it, you beat it, now try normal and hard mode for more. There's literally nothing more that happens, though. You just play through the game, and it's it's just harder. Thank you for the GGs. Romango, Ralph, David Tiki. It's a fun game. Fun speedrun. Encourage people to give it a try. Uh, I will be right back with some Renegade on the NES. So stick around. Uh, it is a little bit more hard, so I guess it is accurate there. Things just take extra punches. We'll be right back. Thank you, Najiro, Yuki, and everyone for the GG. <laughs> 